Ginger's rule. <laughs> what is your favorite song? Girl, I don't know if I have a favorite song. On the spot. <laughs> um, I'm a tragically hip fan, anything from the hip. Oh, I feel like there's lots of people at your work. All right, these are my people. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any pets? I don't have any pets. Do you have a favorite type of animal? No, anything furry. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I'm a cat high person. Five. High five. Yes. I, we always had cats, but I don't have a cat now. <laughs> <laughs> if you could travel anywhere, where would you travel? Oh my gosh. I have traveled a lot. Um, but I have not yet been to South Africa. Is it interesting to see like how different places have different approaches to climate change? Because you're working with architects, right? That. What do you think architects can do to make the world a better place for everybody? I think we need to be more honest about the impacts that buildings have and to speak up, um, you know, which is of course a form of advocacy. Speak up with your clients, speak up with your, your colleagues and say what you think and be honest about what's possible. <laughs> Okay, can I just check my... So, why is your team called the Impact Team? Ooh, good question. Um, I think because what we're trying to do is identify, identify ways that we can be impactful with the work that we're doing and positively impactful. What do those design decisions mean once they're built? How does that affect the way that we move through space and use space and how do buildings consume resources that are, um, are precious? People and the planet are different, you know, the planet is a house for people, so we have to think about the social aspects of sustainability at the same time as we think about um, the things that sustain us. I feel like climate change, it's destroying our earth, and soon we're not going to have like an earth to do all the things that we need to do. So I think it's really important that we start working toward a change. Are you scared about it? Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm scared about it. <laughs> Environmental sustainability and social sustainability are not different things, mm -hmm. that um, people exist on the planet and so inextricably they have to be considered together. And when you love your space, you become a steward of that space, you become a caretaker of that space. Um, and we need to become caretakers of the planet. So um, creating spaces and buildings that are compelling for people is very much part of um, doing the right thing with respect to natural resources. They are the same thing. And I think that's what we're trying to figure out how to do really well in the practice at HCMA. Do you feel like you understand what Rebecca does? <laughs> okay, here's my, I think Rebecca is at HCMA to make our buildings, like to really like analyze how like our buildings are made and then help us move towards creating more environmentally friendly and just more, just like better cities in general. That's what I think. Is that, is that correct? Yeah. Is that somewhere yeah, that there? makes sense oh. for sure. I okay. think so. Yeah. It's not a bust. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.